All right, guys, this is a video I've been wanting to do. I wanted to compare these meters, the field piece to the fluke. And um, I saw this today, and it offers a lot of the same features as this one, except for power quality. So I'm going to unbox this, and this is the Ames CM100A. 1000A, I'm sorry. And um, I'm gonna compare Hertz both in the clamp on the test leads like I can with this one. But this one is limited, it only starts at seven amps and this one doesn't do it at all. This is the 902 I bought before it came out with the FC. And I'm just gonna, this is the 116. I'm just gonna use it to, I don't have a bench meter but I'm gonna try to use this as a standard to test the others by except for the amps so first let's um unbox this and see what comes in it carrying case the meter I just assume there's no battery in it yet so let's open the case and see what's in there got some test leads it looks like um I don't know if those tips come off or not. They're turning. <clears throat> not bad looking test leads. Um, owner's manual and a battery. So let's um set that little bit to the side. And as you can see, I do not have a studio. <clears throat> I do have a shop where I could have done this, but I was really wanting to pull this out the box and try to see if it's worth paying now this was just a hundred dollars this one I think these two are about 300 and this one you got to have a separate clamp meter in your bag if you're going to use the 116 all right so we're going to put a battery in this thing and fire it up and set this little screw to the side before I lose it This does not look like it wants to come out. It's a little, there we go. A little place to stick your fingernail right there. Before I really get into this, we have a Cat 3 rating at 1,000 volts for the vast majority of what we do as HPAC technicians. That is perfectly fine. There is a Cat 4 rating on that some people look for, but um, Cat 3 for what we do is plenty. 
first of all, I'm not real sure if I got power here. I have opened up that power line so we can have a splitter. Believe it or not, um, our electric stores, neither one of them had a line splitter. One of them didn't even know what the world I was talking about. All right. got a nice big display let me see this looks like that's set on DC and all right that's AC I'm going to just use this to check and see if we got voltage here these have got to come off they do I gotta let my dog in so hold on just a sec got my dog put up i'm gonna save these in here that's a nice little thing to have we're gonna go back to i got set on volts first selection here is dc i think it should um automatically go to ac because that's what we test a lot more often and um I'm just going to check for power. Nice big display, 124 volts. Now let's see, non-contact voltage. y'all can see this you gotta get right close to it but that works um like I said we're gonna try to compare that with I hate to use the fluke as a standard because I'll be honest I do not believe that they are the best out there Very similar reading, 123. Let's see, what about Hertz? 59.97. Go back to this one. We're gonna check Hertz through the leads. In just a second, we're gonna run these and check amps and Hertz through the amp meter one twenty three go down here to Hertz fifty nine point nine six not sure y'all can see that. Fifty nine point nine six hertz. All right, we're going to use this again later. We're going to compare the microfarad readings. But first, let's do a little bit with these. First of all, let me see, does this do non-contact voltage? I do not think it does. I do not see, we got a hold function on the side we do not have in rush, and this is the 902. Like I said, I don't have the 902 FC, but um, 
let me see no it does not do non-contact voltage but we're going to check voltage with it compare it to what we got on this one now um 123 exact same thing all right i'm gonna try to hold this in there and i have not used this thing for a while i'm looking to see if i can get hertz on it You know, I'm not even seeing it. Am I missing something? Yeah, bolts. Uh, maybe it doesn't have hertz. And that's the 902. Set that to the side for just a little bit. Now this is the one I have been using lately, partially because you can measure hertz through the tip and it has power functions. This, although it can measure hertz through the clamp meter, it does not have the power functions you have in this. But honestly, we don't use them all that much. And for somebody who's, for somebody who does not have a whole lot of money, um, I'm trying to see if this um, Harbor Freight 123.9, all these are reading exactly the same. I'm going to switch this to Hertz. Okay, we got 59.97 on the top is I think that's duty cycle and if I'm not mistaken this one has duty cycle as well I just may have to uh, figure out how to use it in fact why don't we um, try and see if try and see if we can get duty cycle on it now hurts and there's my duty cycle 50% the exact same thing I had on the um, field piece the 116 does not have duty cycle and neither does the 902 all right I want to I want to turn on one of these over here that big one draws about nine amps. I'm not sure about this one, but I can adjust the I can adjust the smaller one and we can I hope that's not too loud. I'll try to speak up. But um first I'm gonna check amps with the field piece. I got 1.52. Now, if you notice, I cannot check hertz. I cannot check hertz because the amps aren't high enough. There's my amps, 1.52. Um, this will not check hertz on the amp clamp until it reaches 7 amps. So I'm going to try the same, same thing with this. I'm going to go to amps. We're on amps AC.
see. AC. All right, we might have a failure here. This is reading zero amps. AC, let's go to this one. There we go. I was on the wrong range, apparently. This is the lower range. I'm reading 1.49. This is reading 1.52. I'm going to go to the Flute 902. 1.4, 1.5. See, I don't have another decimal reading on that. Alright, that was low amps, 1.48, let's see if we can, oh that's DC, hold on, AC, 1.47 amps, it is not reading hertz, or duty cycle at 1.4. I hope I had that where you can see a push the Hertz button. It says Hertz over here. It's not reading it. Not reading duty cycle. 1.47 amps. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. I'm gonna try to get closer so you can we're on Amps AC, this is 1.6, still no Hertz, still no duty cycle. Back to Amps. Now I know that one over there draws 9, but forgive me if this is too loud. Almost 2 Amps, 1.99. We're gonna do Hertz. Still no Hertz. Still no duty cycle. That's reading two amps. That's reading one, that's reading two amps. Two point oh two. And um, if we hit select, that is not reading any hertz either. That's not enough amps. All right. All right, maybe I haven't read the manual on this, so I do not know how many amps we have to get up to before we can read hurts through the amp clamp I want to see about this inrush button so I've got it on amps it says relative mm. let me see how do we do this relative and then it goes back to auto AC I'm still going to try it alright we're going to go to this it says relative but back to 1.48 I may have to read about how to do the inrush. All right, maybe 
that was it. I just held it down for two, three seconds. I got zero on in rush. Auto in rush. Yeah, I got it on the right setting. I got zero. We're going to turn it all the way to three. I still got zero. All right. We're going to test the field piece on in rush. Press this button on the side. It didn't read anything either. All right, we're going to go back to inrush. I'm going to turn it all the way up. Nothing. And the 902 does not offer inrush current. I have no way to produce volts DC unless I go check my battery on the vehicle or something. So I'm not even going to worry about that. All right. It also checks millivolts. Does it do? It might. Now we got amps. This is amps DC. I'm not sure if it'll go low enough to measure micro amps that's something that i would have to test out on a flame sensor but um in the manual it might say all right this is just reading ohms This should read zero ohms. Took a second. Point three. Okay, we're on ohms. One point two. Of course, we're using different leads, so we're going to have different results. Alright, we're on ohms. 0.19. If I had something that root Here we go. We'll test between here and here. And we're going to read ohms. That, that's uh, something we can read I'm reading, well, maybe it's open. It says open lead. Let's try that with another one. Maybe because I have the switch open, we have a open lead. Well, I guess we were right. We have an open lead. All right, this, that one should be powered. This should be neutral and the ground maybe they're nope everything's open all right we'll do um there's ohms does that it's also testing like diodes and continuity on the same thing
this one you have to press it once go back to that's bolts then we're going to go back to ohms on that one oh one thing I didn't test on this was a non-contact voltage It goes off just a little bit sooner than the um, Harbor Freight one. Let's see how it gets faster. That's pretty good. And like I said, the Flute 902. I don't have the 902 FC. I don't know if it does the same thing or not. I mean, if it does non-contact voltage. All right, we're going to take this and go to capacitance. And I brought a 50 and 5. First, I'm on. First, I'm going to test it with the 116. This is common and fan 5.12 her 50.15 one thing I do like about this I've noticed so far is that when you plug in the voltage, you don't beep constantly. It is not wireless like the field piece. All right, we're going to do common and fan. 5.12. You should watch that because it took a little while. Excuse me. See that? There's a delay in it. We're going to check for Herm. It is accurate, but there's a little bit of a delay. Alright, we're going to compare that with the field piece, which is what I've been using lately. Herm. It's a fan. Oop. Point one one. That also has a little bit of a delay. Five point five. Now we're going to do to harm fifty point seven nine. So they all seem to be very close to each other. I've been waiting to plug that fan up because it has. I know it pulls about 9 amps, so maybe we can get hertz on it. Let me see what else we can test. Alright, let's go back up to amps. See, it automatically went to AC, which is what I had it. What I had it at, I'm on. Alright, so it defaults back to AC, which is where I set it to begin with. Alright, now this one, it might cause that fan to tip over. It's got some power. We're going to check amps. Actually, that's reading six amps. I thought it was more like nine. Let's see if we can check hertz. No, 
hurts. No duty cycle. But we got 6.1 amps. Yeah, that's going to be hurts through the test leads. That's, so we still don't have any hurts. 6 amps. Up on this one at 1,000 amps, it's not even reading. 6.05. I'm going to test that with the 902. It says 6.1. I don't have a way to get another decimal on that. 5.9, it matters where I place it. So, I'm not sure how much. Unplug that for a second. Um, let me see. Frequency. I may have to read their manual to see um, at how many amps this test frequency um everything I've tested on it tests pretty good um it does not have temperature on it but I don't use my meter to measure temperature I have probes and stuff like that so if you if you need a meter that tests temperature um This one, this one does. You're gonna need the um, the pro, the clamp that goes to this. It's got a plug-in and a clamp. The 116 also measures temperature right here. Also, you're gonna need the clamp and the. It's a Type K adapter that goes in the plug. This one has two temperature readings. Um, you just pull out your leads and switch this over and you're going to need a type K thermal couple of some kind. This does not read temperature. Let me see if I can get inrush on this because um, I could not with the smaller fan. There, we got it that time, 13.79. I had to hold it down to get out of in rush. Here we are at six amps. That's DC, I'm sorry. So go to Hertz. We got no Hertz. We got no duty cycle. I don't know how many amps you gotta go to get to your Hertz. We'll see if this one will catch that that in rush get it on the side oh I don't have it on amps I'm sorry I do not see where it all right try it again Maybe I just turned it off. I did. All 
All right, let's see what my inrush is gonna be. Am I doing something wrong? Bolts, amps. There we go, don't hold it in, just push the button. You think I know how to use my own meter. <clears throat> 14.61 rush. So we're able to get inrush, um, relative voltage in case there's a change in voltage in what you're detecting, non-contact voltage, hertz, capacitance, continuity, um, ohms, millivolts. I do not know if we can get DC, let me get out of that. I do not know if we can get, I think millivolts is just one decimal place over, let me. I'm gonna put this back on AC, so it'll fault to AC. Let me see about this light. Backlight gives you a flashlight and lights this up. That's pretty nice. It's got a place to hold your test leads. I don't think this is a bad little meter. It just doesn't have, um, you can't measure hertz unless it's probably up like 7 amps. Like this one. This one has a low range of seven amps. I'll see if I can't, in some future videos, test this on something that's pulling more amps. <clears throat> but sometimes, as you know, mini splits, they don't pull hardly any amps sometimes when they're on low speed. So um, it'd be nice to be able to check Hertz at lower amps. But other than that, like I said, this is a Cat 3 1000 volts. This is Cat 3 1000 volts, Cat 4 600 volts. I do not see the Cat rating on this. Here we go. Same thing. Cat 4 600, Cat 3 1000 volts, true RMS. But um, it's got a lot of functions that air conditioning or even electrician technicians use. And this was $100, and like this was over $300. I bought this so long ago, I don't even remember. And this one, you got to have a separate amp clamp if you're going to use it. So, um, not too bad for the money. I hope you like the video. And if you like seeing tool videos and stuff related to HVAC, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.